I had Ideogram rebook the Pearl Girl for an editorial campaign inside Flora. I want to walk you through how to use Ideogram inside the editor to customize your character, stay consistent with your style, and get the most accurate results when it comes to the workflows with complex faces and expressions. So to start, I'm going to open up a text block and I'm going to write a prompt for a image that I have been thinking about. So now that I have my prompt ready, I'm going to drop in an image that I've been thinking about a lot that I want to use as a reference to make my final image. And I'm going to combine both of these nodes to create the image and I'm going to select runway because I want a realistic look. So now I have both of these image, images generated. Although I don't love the hair, I want the hair to be more animated and surreal looking and slightly more matted like this image here. So I'm just going to drag out another image node, just going to say make the hair look more like the second image and I'm going to drag this image in as a reference and I'm going to use runway for realism again and I'm going to make two variations of that both of these images generated um, and I like how it's looking but uh, now I kind of want to change the hair to like a star shape and have it be even more animated and surreal so I'm going to again drag out, drag out an image node and I'm just going to say make the hair a star shape and I'm going to use runway for this and I'm actually going to change my aspect ratio to 16 to 9 um, because I want it to be horizontally extended and I'm going to create two variations of this. So now I have both of these images ready and I kind of want to add a little bit of curls to the hair um, and so I'm going to drag this image block and I'm just going to say add some soft curls to the hair. So as you can see, I'm kind of nailing down on what I want the image to look exactly and then in the last step, I can swap it out with Ideogram. Uh, that's what's great about it. You can kind of continue with your regular process throughout and in the end, you could just swap the faces in one prompt. So now I have both of my images with the curls um, and I want to add some kind of bubbles or raindrops in front of the lens so it looks a little more exciting and maybe more surreal as well. So I'm going to just drag out an image node here and I'm going to add some raindrops to the lens and I'm going to go with runway again for realism and I'll create two variations of that here it added some raindrops to the lens. I kind of like this one because it feels like it's more in the background and kind of accentuates the depth of feel. So I'm going to go ahead with this. And this is when I'm going to swap out my face with the girl with the pearl earring. So I'm just going to paste the image that I have that I created um, from the painting and I just wanted to get a realistic rendering of the girl with the pearl earring so that was my prompt and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first image as my reference image so this image has the background, the hair, the tone, the mood, everything that I want uh, the image to have and my second image is just going to be the face that I'm going to swap out with this face and now I'm going to change it to Ideogram and I'll create four variations to see how that looks. So now I have Ideogram having swapped this girl's face into this body and this environment. Um, and as you can see, the first two are super realistic, but the second two are slightly more cartoonish and animated, which is nice if you're going for that, but I prefer the realistic one. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I want to mock this up on an ID magazine. So I'm first going to extend this image um, vertically, um, just so that I have more of her body. And I'll do that by changing to flux context and change the aspect ratio to 9 is to 16. And I'll just say extend vertically. And here is the extended image. Um, and now I'm going to drag and drop some ID magazines that I personally love. 
shelves. So here I just dropped in two ID magazines that I like and I want to make sure that the face is sort of visible and it's not kind of hindered by any text on the face. It's okay if it's in the hair but I think the face should be pretty clear so that ideogram can understand and mask the faces and swap it. Drag this image as my first reference image and my face as my second reference image and the thing with the ideogram is that the first image is always your reference image it's always the environment the background and the second one is always the face that you want to swap it with um, and now i'm just going to change my model to ideogram character and i'm going to create four variations of that okay so it just generated these four images and as you can see it pretty much swapped the, this face with the pearl girl's face and it's super accurate um i'm gonna try a version with this magazine where i retain the hair because i really like that and the best way to go about that would be to initially swap the faces and then use flux context in the end to swap out the hair i'm just gonna drag out this image as my reference image where i want the face to go and my pearl girl as the second image and i'm just going to change to ideogram and create four variations and i don't need to worry about putting down a prompt it understands by itself so these images look super good to me so i'm just going to duplicate this image so that i have it more accessible next to me and i'm going to drag I kind of like this image because she's looking at the camera so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these two images it doesn't matter the order because we're not using ideogram we're going to use flux context and I'm just going to say replace the face in the first image with the second image keep the hair of the second image so as you can see, I was able to get these beautiful results and I actually didn't even say use the environment of the second image with this node, but I really love how it was able to do that and also retained the raindrops. Um, I think this one is the closest to what I wanted where it, it literally just swapped uh, the face, the hair, everything. Now I'm just going to pick this one and I'm going to upscale it to... 2x ideogram is a super simple model um, it can be used in the last step of your entire process or in the first step thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials